Okay, I got the flying fish out here. And I've already put a couple flights on it, and I will be posting those. But it's starting to get pretty gusty out here. And, you know, I I think the only time that I have used this uh, Bime Gyro that I have in it is is when I was doing the review of the Bime Gyro and testing it in different planes. So um, I was flying it in full manual mode, and there were a couple times where the airframe almost got upended in a turn, um, hitting a pretty good gust. So what I want to do is fly it in, in the mode... I think it's called dynamic mode or stabilization mode. Don't quote me, but it's the mode where it counteracts wind, but it doesn't restrict movement in the control surfaces. So I want to see how well it works in some pretty gusty wind that I've got out here right now. And you'll be able to see a comparison of it if you watch the flights that I published before this one because this is basically the same flight session but I wanted since I had some pretty gusty conditions out here I wanted to test it with that gyro counteracting it so here we go I'm just curious you know myself to see how well the gyro does stabilizing the plane and wind Huh. You can see it moving around, but it's not getting upended. I mean, if you watch the two flights before this one, it was pretty dramatic. When I would go into a turn like I am now, in the wind, and I mean, it would really rock that plane. So this gyro really seems to be doing a pretty good job you guys can probably hear the wind in my microphone right now because I am feeling it on the ground now in the two earlier flights where I was flying it in full manual mode I could definitely see the wind from the reaction from the plane about 20 or 30 feet up but I was not feeling a lot of it on the ground look at that now that plane would probably have gotten upended <laughs> flying in full manual mode with those slow tight turns with these gusty conditions so I'm pretty I am pretty darn impressed with this little gyro look at that can you guys hear I'm sure you can hear the wind in my microphone it's pretty good little wind That was going downwind right there, and I'm turning crosswind. And look how stable it is. I'm, I'm pretty darn impressed. I've never really tested that out much. Look at that. That is awesome. That is absolutely awesome. Going downwind again. Here we come turning into the wind. Look at that. That is pretty nice and smooth considering how gusty it is out here right now. And we got somebody else coming down the lane. I was just bragging in the last flight. I had six flights without any traffic coming through. And now this is the second vehicle <laughs> in the past five minutes. But isn't that awesome? Look at that. That is really doing a good job of counteracting the wind. Look at this. Do you see that pull vertical from a slow speed? What an awesome, awesome little plane. And like I, I stated in the last videos, if you haven't taken advantage of this plane, um, last time I checked, it was still at a very good price. And it's one of the best values in a plug-and-fly plane that I've seen in a long time. This is an awesome aircraft. Whee! Look at that. It handles beautifully. 
and this gyro is doing an awesome job of counteracting the wind. <laughs> and if you don't believe me, watch the other two flights I posted before this one, and you'll see a tremendous difference in the way this plane is handling in the wind now with the gyro stabilizing it and the way it was handling when I was flying it in full manual mode. Look at that. That is awesome. I've got to get more of these Vime gyros. I've only got two, two or three of them right now. I've been purchasing additional S-Bus receivers so that I could put more of these Vime gyros in some planes. It just works awesome. What do you guys think of that? I mean, that is, and those, those Vime gyros, they're, you know, they're plug and play. There's nothing to configure on them and they do a fantastic job especially in this mode where it's counteracting the wind. I mean, that is awesome. Okay, so now let's see how well it handles coming in slowly for a landing in uh, that stabilization mode, dynamic mode, whatever it is uh, that counteracts the wind. All right, so right now we are clear. <laughs> Before another vehicle comes through, Now remember, this just counteracts the wind. It's not going to help me land it. I'm going around. <laughs> Did you see that? Did you see that crosswind? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Let's see here. Okay, I am com just about completely off the throttle. I'm going around again. <laughs> It's really counteracting though, because if it wasn't, those wings would be wobbling all over the place. That is too slick. Okay, let's see if I can get it on the ground this time. <laughs> that is so awesome. No, I am totally impressed with this, uh, with this gyro. That is that is awesome. What, I, what how, how many times did I go around? Two or three? I know I went around at least <laughs> at least twice to get it on the ground and that crosswind. But it kept the wings level. Did you see that? Yeah, I'm sure you can hear the wind now. But um, I'm gonna put I'm gonna put another battery pack in it. That is so much fun. All right. I will see you in a minute. <laughs> okay. So I got another battery pack in it. I still have it in the mode where it stabilizes for wind. It doesn't prevent me from doing what I want to do. So let's come back out here and launch it again. Now I'm not feeling much wind on the ground at this moment. All right, here we go, launching. <laughs> awesome. We that is a speedy little plane. And you kick in some throttle. And now usually I just fly the spanking yank, but with this wind, I'm inputting a little bit of rudder. Whee!
Isn't that awesome? I love that power. Yeah, I was certainly feeling the wind on the first flight, but I'm not feeling much on the ground right now. The wind out here always comes and goes, but you never know when it's going to hit. <laughs> what an awesome plane, though. Look at that. So well behaved. Yeah, so if you've got one of these Bime gyros, um, it will counteract some significant wind, even for a little plane, a little lightweight plane like this. So I'm going to start using it more often because um, I always have wind out here. It's usually, you know, it's usually not as bad as it was during that first flight, but we. But um, it can kick up, you know, you could, you could have very little wind here when you launch. And then, you know, a minute after you've launched it in the air, it's just terrible. <laughs> Look at that, though. That is so awesome. I love this plane. Look at that. Speed run. Yeah. Fantastic little plane. <laughs> Isn't that great? Oh, I can see the gyro counteracting wind there. Yeah, hey, I'm starting to feel it again now. Look at that. Man, it sure, it, that gyro sure smooths out the rough spot. Now you can really hear the wind, can't you? Okay, so let's do a loop into the wind. Look at that. That maintained its line. Awesome little gyro. And very inexpensive. I'm definitely going to get more of those. All right, I'm starting to get my half big loop from the slow start. Split S from a slow start. Absolutely fantastic. Cool. I think <laughs> rather than land into that crosswind again, I think I'm going to try and there we go. I think I'm going to try and bring it right across the road. I'm going to back up so I can keep it on the other side of me because the truck is on this side. I'll do one more circuit. And I think I'm going to put it in full stabilization mode for landing it. Okay, here we come. Looks like we're good. All right. All right, there's full stabilization mode. Holy cow, wind is picking up. <laughs> that is awesome. Awesome little gyro. He kept it nice and straight, so all I had to concentrate on was a little bit of throttle and a little bit of elevator, guys. That is fantastic. Does an excellent job of counteracting the wind as well. So I'm going to be using that out here much more frequently because I always have wind. But anyway, thanks for watching and I will see you in the air.